Hello and welcome Crystal Souls on this new Piggy card. Today I'm going to present you You Have the Half. So to pick, we have three pals available. We have the pal with the Amethyst, the one with the Jasper and the one with the Tiger Eye. So one or multiple crystals might be calling you, so make sure to use your intuition, meditate, pause the video if you need to, and select the pal or the pals calling you. And quick announcement, I created on Amazon notebooks, journals, planners, and even one that is a gratitude journal. This is gonna be linked down below. So let's relax together and breathe in. Hold your breath and breathe out. And choose the one or the ones calling you. Group number one with the Amethyst. Let's start and see more hints about your other half. But right away, if you picked this beautiful crystal, this is announcing to me a very strong, loving, pure, healing connection with the one. The Amethyst is a stone that we use for dreams, to recall them, to also release any negativity within us. And this connects to the third eye or crown chakra, but especially the third eye to me. So this, in my opinion, shows that you may have a telepathic or visual connection with your person and maybe your other half is trying to communicate using your third eye so of course this can be done with visions or dreams so pay attention to them so with the cards we have somebody who is transitioning someone who is healing from something that was a bit difficult and now you can see is actually now ready to welcome a new adventure to welcome this new relationship. So now this person has been wounded in other connections and romantic relationships. Possibly you feel the same, we tend to be attracting who we are and what we feel, what we emanate as energy. Maybe that's why we saw a healing relationship, healing energy with the Amethyst. And what I see here is somebody who is wanting something fresh, something new, but at the moment they're just really trying to figure out why this was happening and not really perceiving behind him or her what's available so if you want to be with a specific person and you feel there is some distance or maybe the person is just trying to push you away that is because they are still having to deal with what is going on and when they will make that transition this is when the two of you will be together having fun just like kids you know kids don't judge they don't create stories they just accept you for who you are so this is what i see a person that's actually supposed to be doing in order for this relationship to work, in order for this relationship to be healing, pure and easy. So the Six of Cups can also be a card connected to actually soulmates and people we've met in the past. So maybe this lifetime or other lifetimes, which is why I associate the Six of Cups to soulmates or twin flames. So this to me is mostly that energy, that message, and not so much of an ex that has been wounding you coming back. It's not something I see because... Like I said, you are moving on and the person that you are welcoming is moving on as well. So not carrying the past with them and they, they don't want to do that to you because otherwise this can be a very shaky relationship. And what they want is structure, maturity. Even the mountains talk about it. And you can see the scene. It's just two kids having fun, vibing together, feeling close, feeling like family. And I'm sure this is going to be the feeling you feel when you find the person, which is why I associated this card to soul family, soulmates coming together and having a good time. There is a person at the distance in the house. Maybe there is a person who is playing that role of the messenger. You know, the delivery man, pretty much. <laughs> bringing you messages. This is why I told you, your third eye is going to be the way, actually, you guys may connect. So telepathic messages, dreams, or people becoming the messenger of what is coming. And yes, even tarot readings can be your message. So this is what I see. A transition, somebody healing, somebody getting ready to actually start a new relationship because they want to find the other half. They want to find somebody that they can really free themselves with, heal themselves with, with. And also with that 
childlike essence, they want to be their purest self. They don't want to have to adjust and play a character around somebody. Like if they love somebody, they are expecting themselves to be free, to really be their authentic self. And this is what I see the person feeling comfortable to do with you. They really look alike like they might be brothers or twins even <laughs> but in my opinion this can be the feeling when you meet the person it's like oh it's looking into a mirror actually looking into your energy your personality your person your past and the things that you actually experienced so yes i do believe there's some mirrored you know twin like energy interesting so lemuria can also be i think of star seeds Maybe you've been <laughs> now uh, kind of calling each other to return back home because we had kids and I see the pregnant lady. You can be attracting the one you are going to create a family with. It depends with watching, of course. But if you are ready for the one, if you're ready for your other half to be the father or to be the mother, this is what I see here. So earthy spirituality, community and ocean conservation what i see with these especially is that you might be attracting someone who is very spiritual who might be part of your community the community can be about of course the human self what community you connect to what things spiritually you connect to maybe a religion as well or this can just be for example you started um, taking classes about singing or yoga or whatever that is this can be where you can be meeting your other Health. and you may have a lot of different you know similar activities that you like actually and we saw this with the mirrored energy so i would not be surprised if you meet at one space or one area and do one activity that really vibes with you anything connected to your passion is what i'm hearing so yes but i see giving birth to that relationship if not conceiving 29 can be significant, could be the age of your person. We have number 6, 6 and 5. So 6 represents the lovers in tarot. So I always associate number 6 to true love and somebody meaningful. And number 5 is about creation and magic. And you're attracting somebody who is going to be very charming, very beautiful. Look at this! <laughs> this is the R energy, the guide. So a guide, a mentor, a trustworthy, a lie. And they are again exactly the same. So in my opinion, this spell is really for twin flames. Like if you do have a twin flame, you picked the right pile <laughs> because this is showing up. And so their beauty is going to be very magnetic, very beautiful. Like you cannot really resist the person when you are around them. So grace, loveliness, integrity of form and spirit. So not just beauty on the, on the outside, but beauty on the inside. Their spirit is charming, beautiful, exactly what you were looking for. And because we have number one, I think of a new beginning, new creation. Could be a creative person as well and a leader like they want to lead they want to create they want to be the one and i'm sure that's also a code for you telling you i am the one i am your other half for a reason i am supposed to be the chosen one for you so please let's move on together and create this beautiful relationship so get ready and with the lotus flowers i see this as a sign of trust so trust is gonna be Maybe something you need to work on because I heard issues. Um, maybe it's so issues of trust because of what happened in the past. So if not from you, it could be from your person. So reassurance and, you know, sitting down, talking about the past, healing these aspects will be possibly needed to make that relationship go smoother i mean in the beginning we all need to adapt so don't let it stop you really or don't let it scare you because some people's like ah no like if you're a baby or if i need to reassure yourself i don't want to put the effort like in any type of relationship you'll have to put the effort so yeah don't let it <laughs> don't let it scare you so let's see couple cards we have whispers I do feel like you're guided, even this card was talking about you being guided towards this person. And we started with that message, I was channeling with the Amethyst. So in my opinion, you are really 
like bombarded by signs. Rather, it's signs, numbers, maybe a place calling you because I see a transition, travel, or um, even babies may have the person's name. For example, somebody around you is giving birth to like a little go a little boy or a little girl and maybe the, the connection with the name can be significant, I don't know. But here I see somebody who is wanting to develop a romantic relationship. They might be a big romantic as well. And I saw a creative person so they can use their art to communicate their love to you as well. So maybe their art is the whisper, is actually the code, the message that they do want to share with you. So any type of love song especially, or love painting for example, anything romantic, even writing something, is really the message, the whisper they want to say to you if you guys are still in separation and you have no idea who that person is. But I feel like some of you may know especially because I'm getting twin flame, soulmate vibes. So if not humanly know, you know on the soul level. So let's see traits from your person. So who are they as a person? Rich. So this person is abundant. I'm not surprised because number one, leader energy truly connects to somebody who is indeed um, abundant. So rich. Let's see. And seductive. Because we saw beauty, again, I think that's connected. So someone that you find very attractive, very seductive, and someone who is very good at manifesting money, attracting money and opportunities as well. I do feel like a lot of you guys might be attracting someone who is rather artistic or maybe a business person. But they have that vibe about them that's quite irresistible. So let's see places. So where you guys can be meeting, any symbolic place. You need to discover. We have the park and shooting a fashion show. Again, very artistic. So, and at the moment, there is a lot of fashion shows happening. So maybe they are assisting to these shows or they can be working in that field. So I think of camera, shooting, fashion, any type of show, could be a performance, for example and the park. And here we have autumn season, could be significant for you guys. The other cards were really winter and summer season, but they can be a water sign, air sign as well, or born during autumn. <laughs> so let's see messages. Anything they want to reveal to you, any message you need to hear, what they're trying to communicate. So I'll take the ones facing up. I can't bear to see you in pain. We can see that. We can see that one of you is really suffering from the past. And it's very, very difficult to see somebody that you like suffering from these things. Pillow fight! I'm telling you, you have this childlike essence. Like this relationship is for the people wanting to have fun, wanting to actually nurture their inner child and just express this one together. That's very beautiful. So these were the messages. Let's continue and pick the grid so we can see the zodiac sign of your person. Because we had some signs already, like water sign and earth, uh, not earth, air sign. And here we have Cancer, Gemini and Scorpio. We can have more of them with letters and words which I'm going to pick now. So let's see any type of hints, perhaps a name, a place, maybe a future trip because we saw traveling too. And we have Libra and Eris. I kind of see Paris showing up with the letters so far, but let's see if we have more of them. I see you in French, so maybe somebody is targeting you, calling you. Rare is what I thought about when I saw these. You need team from. Maybe you can see a place as well. I mean, we saw Paris, <laughs> but it could be Tokyo. What else do I see? I heard Sagittarius. We have king in French as well. For the numbers, we only have ones. <laughs> we saw number one. I'm the one. Start starting, new beginning, leadership. Yes, that is totally, totally the sign. 11, 11 can also be a sign that you see. Oh, look, we have art. How did I miss that? Um, so art. 
pretty much what I can see. But play with them, something can pop to you and this will be personal. So let me pick next some stickers for you guys. Any hint from your other half or your future together. Oh, okay, we had a lot. All right, so let's see. I do see a reunion. I do see coming back to... Look at that! I'm telling you, you are the one and they want to be one with you. Become one. They may try to get your attention as well. Mm, you can be attracting someone who is a bit sleepy. They want peace. This is the direction they're taking when it comes to love. So they want something peaceful and easy. Same thing here. You can see drinking a cup, having... That relaxing time we saw somebody rich so that again connects perfectly and here cooking so they can be a good chef a good cook separation so you can be indeed in separation at the moment floating dreams and i told you you can be dreaming of the person so maybe that's a sign let's continue and pick the other one having fun again so laughing a lot i do see a lot of emotions so i'm not really surprised to see this this um, little rabbit that's sad. Dugun, dugun. Okay, so that is the heartbeat, the sound of your heartbeat. So you can actually, like, your heart might be going crazy when you meet the person. And I see this as possibly a birthday or anniversary anniversary <laughs> celebration. I cannot speak today, I swear. Oh, we have one more. And someone again looking sharp looking beautiful and attractive so these are the signs for you and your other half i hope you like this reading if you do give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're new of course make sure to also claim in the comments and if you want some personal guidance the tools the merch the notebooks now you can actually buy everything or book down below so check it out in the description the link and yes i'll see you guys next time take good care of you bye bye Group number two with the red jasper. So let's see. First of all, if you picked this crystal, this stone, should I say, um, this is talking about root connection. And look at that. I kind of see a path, you know, two different paths, and then they cross. Hopefully you can see it on the camera. But I do see this as a sign that maybe your two paths are going to allow yourself to finally meet each other. I mean, that's the one. So of course, I do see this connection supported. But know that you're going to feel grounded in that relationship, feel very passionate towards each other because that's the root chakra so you know what it means but let's see more hints about the energy of the one so the one can be someone who is driven passionate they want to be victorious they want to be a winner they want to achieve what they set their mind to they have a direction for the future a plan for the future and i see the universe actually supporting this person to become victorious to have that success and here you can see they're waiting for that success to mature they're waiting for things to become more fertile and what this tells you in the relationship is that they do want to commit to you and see that relationship grow, evolve, mature with time. And they want to be adventurous with you, try new things to make that relationship successful. I see duality, you know, we have black and white. So this duality can be that completion that you needed. Somebody that could be feeling very um, like different from you or they have a different background, maybe a different mindset. But this completes you, this complements you. I'm not saying this duality creating more distance, no. I'm saying that actually supporting you to level up as well, to mature with them. But know this person is going to become really successful and very rich as well. So you can be attracting somebody who is very driven by their work, dreams, and they know, like I said, the plan that they have to fulfill in this lifetime. We have number seven two times, so 777, seven, seven, jackpot energy, money, luck. This is what you can experience with the person as well. When you'll be attracting lots of opportunity, money, opportunities, money, <laughs> or even just luck your way, that shows you are with the one, you are with your other half, because they complement and energize yourself. And that's the way to be attracting and manifesting the reality that's more fitting for you and that is best for you. So notice how other people influence your energy and 
actually create that energy within you. You know, it's kind of like they plant a seed within you and then they wait and see you grow beautifully and they're very proud of you and of their influence too. So that's what I see, especially as the symbolism of that relationship, because the chariot talks about transportation. Maybe this person can have a different, uh, like, or a car that is actually you know, some car that you find very beautiful or they can be drive, driving on a very luxurious car because I do see money in the future or they can actually want that goal to save money to buy a car. The chariot can also talk about some type of trip movement. So maybe that is announcing that. Loving to always explore together, go on trips, go on rides maybe somewhere and have a fun time. This can be a cancer because the chariot is cancer energy. And for the pentacles, could be an earth sign. That's why grounding energy. <laughs> and you can see that grounding energy is serving them to be manifesting lots of money and opportunity or abundance in general. And here we have time and tide. Oceanic spells and rituals. You can be using spells and rituals as well to be attracting this person at the moment. And we have energy field adjustment, aura cleansing and health and song of the siren, the call summoning and <laughs> the voice. Honestly, I'm not so surprised because I could see you or maybe the person trying to manifest your other half. You're trying to find the right match, the right person. And because of this, and we saw this with the path too, you're crossing roads for a reason. You're attracting each other because that aligns with the love that you're looking for. So anything that you're trying to manifest, the spells maybe you're using, or just this image of love that you have, the vision, you are manifesting. And so that becomes the song of the siren. She is hypnotic. So your own vision or future projection things that you write, things that you say, even songs you listen to are attracting your future. So make sure to listen to positive songs, especially about love, because if you want a lover that's here for you, like for example, I, I, I can see a lot of people listening to, I'm not gonna judge, but some creators, artists, or just spitting, spitting so much hate and venom in their songs and this is what you just drink every day and then you're asking yourself why is my other half not there because you feed you on energetic field as well with a lot of pollution that you don't want as a result so be mindful of what you consume as art as well any picture any person that you're following online as well anything that you see as movies like what is something that you actually put into your field of energy and creation and manifest more so that can also be the healing because you can see aura cleansing and healing that you need to become more powerful and become more magnetic and this magnetic energy is the siren energy the siren is very, very attractive. And this is because she is able to sing and actually, you know, grab people's attention. And that's because they're searching for that. So ask yourself, okay, what is my future person, my other half, looking for? And how can I become this version? But also not becoming the version that they want only. Become the version that you want. And when you become that, okay, that aligns with what my future person is going to be and desire as well. So that's the way to cleanse this field of energy because your own energy attracts other people, all the things around you. So I just see this message as like anything you become, you attract. It's kind of like becoming your own spell, becoming your own manifestation. And so you can actually call people through your own energetic field and create more of all that is created within you. That's very deep and profound, but I'm sure your other half is just as deep and profound as you and doing the work. As you could tell, this person is focused. And yes, this is you and the person. I'm not, I'm not saying you're the only one manifesting. You're the only one, you know, only putting the work, becoming that person. No, they're doing the same. This is why you do attract each other. You become the perfect match, okay? So let's see a couple cards to see your future. So home cooked meal, 
let me take you dancing and marriage so this is why this is why spirits are telling you if you want this valuable gentleman or women you have to put the work Maybe the version that you are today is defeated or maybe the person that you are today is feeding her or his energy with lots of pollution, like I said, with the things you consume, the things you give validation to or you agree to and you keep on singing, affirming every day. You have to know, songs are spells. I know people feel like, oh, witchcraft is something you have to do with a lot of things. Yes you can but it does not mean that anything you speak even gossips or spells so be careful with the company that you surround yourself with the type of chatter that is always received from people or art or things that you actually you know just look for because that is also the spell you speak into the universe and guess what you attract it so i'm just saying that's very important for you guys because possibly there's some like you possibly don't feel too grounded with your reality because there's so much duality within you. Maybe that's why we saw black and white. Um, and sometimes the duality is just making you feel stagnant and like you're not getting what you want because one of you, one part of you is wanting that type of future, but the other one is picking into the universe, the hurt, the, the uh, like your brokenness or whatever that is. Just check your own playlist and you will know, okay, what to fix and possibly just delete all these songs that don't resonate with the future that you want. Because what you're focusing on is love, energy, power, magnetism, a good complementing relationship and someone who is abundant. Same thing with songs about abundance. Be mindful about it. But I see that you guys want to find comfort and stay at home, cook for each other, talk for hours. I mean, that's totally what you can see for a future uh, partner that you may want to marry because you feel comfortable and cozy with them and you love activities to do together dancing just vibing together so let me take you dancing of course could be some passion of yours that you like or for example you will love to put on some music and vibe together so let's see more traits about your person who they are as a person but so far i see someone who is driven passionate they know what they want they have this attraction about them that you cannot really resist like that's something that i can get they're very positive yet emotional too for the numbers by the way so seven we talked about luck so a lucky person someone who is positive with a strong mindset number five is the creator so they can be a good um, creative person but also somebody who knows how to create and manifest number six is love and we have 18 so one is new beginning or someone with again a creator someone who is good at manifesting things and attracting new beginnings and number eight is the infinite sign or the infinite energy and for number eight i also see this associated to your soul family so you can be attracting a new connection with a soulmate we do have a lot of soulmates just want to point that out so we can be attracting another soulmate so we have chill for this card someone who is chill easy to be with and a bit mysterious um you know they might have this personality where you know they need to feel comfortable they need to feel connected before opening up fully about who they are their story and the future they want to be building but they're very chill like they are somebody you can really talk to openly they're going to be listening to you i i don't see someone who needs a lot of stimulation they possibly have a group of friends that's very li that's very little they possibly just love company that's calm chill um that's not too noisy possibly more of an introvert to be honest but could be also an extrovert so let's see now places so any type of places you guys can be meeting but you can actually meet on the go, on the move. Possibly you guys can be working together or interested about something related to any type of business or job. Mm, maybe dancing. So some event connected to dances. The closing store. So you can actually love to go shopping or will love to go shopping together. Or you can actually be meeting while going shopping. And we have the bakery friends are screaming right now but of course that can be any type of bakery 
anywhere. So the bakery could be, again, food might be something like a love language to them. Like if they cook something for you or go get some food, that means I care about you and I want to feed you, I want to provide to you. So let's see now messages. Anything they want to reveal? Anything you need to know at the moment? Look, I told you, you are attracting a provider. I'll take the ones faced up. So let me take care of it. You are strong. Don't let your mind fool you. And then we have, I am the one secretly looking over your social media. So they can actually look at your social media secretly. And thank you for being my savior. That's beautiful. <laughs> I do see care. I do see that supportive person telling you, you got this, you're strong. You know, don't let your mind fool you. I'm here for you. Let me take care of it. Of course, I do look at what you post. I'm interested and I want to be there for you. You can see that like save your energy. So let's continue and pick the crate. So we can see the zodiac sign of your person. So far, we had cancer and earth signs, but we can see more of them with this technique okay uh, not cancer but we have cancer um but scorpio is crazy so water is indeed a dominant um energy so scorpio cancer gemini taurus and capricorn let me continue with the letters and words so here you can see especially a name a place any type of hints maybe some signs as well China. I was about to say, this is China, C-N, and I see China, C-H-N. Someone funny, crazy, wish you're special with. And we have all these. And for the signs, we have Sagittarius and Virgo as a plus. So let's see if we can see anything. I had nerd, so I don't know. Could be connected. Um, we have rec, so it could be a recording. Um, wait a second. I feel like we talked about creative energy, maybe a creator. And I think that can be connected. Maybe social media, because we saw social media interaction. Like, I spy on you on social media. So perhaps the things you record and that you post, they like it a lot. So let's continue with the stickers for you guys. Any other hints for your other half? Okay, we have some of them. So pick these. Don't worry. I told you, you're attracting someone who is very positive. What the f... Okay? <laughs> I see a person who is thinking about love at the moment. The heart for me is the mind connection. With this one, I see that they might be traveling a lot or might be wanting to travel with you. If you are in a long distance, could be traveling to you as well. And I see someone very happy in your company. So these are the signs for you guys. I hope you like this reading. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. Claim this beautiful energy down below in the comments. Subscribe if you're new. For personal guidance, the notebooks, the merch, the cards, everything is linked down below. Check it out. You can check my other readings while you wait for me and take good care of you. Bye-bye. Group number three with the tiger eye. Let's see what is coming here. So the tiger eye can connect to prosperity. Prosperity, someone's grounded with a strong plexus chakra. And I don't know why, but this crystal always makes me think of somebody mysterious because, you know, the shade... The, the gold disappears and then reappears. So this can also be the energy of your person, someone who is mysterious. You know, they shine bright and then, you know, their energy is kind of more subtle or just a bit more secretive. So let's see with the cards. So you're attracting somebody who is in their strong, independent, boss energy. Really getting boss lady or just, you know, um, successful person. Someone who is grounded. We have that pentacles energy, earth energy. With the two grapes, I think of, again, maturity. Maturing with time. Wanting something stable to last in time. This is their focus. It could be, I think, of Aries energy and Capricorn energy. 
especially with that sign um, but I especially think of Capricorn so you can be attracting this type of sign your way could be different because we have fire energy for this one and we'll be using the grid afterward but yes what I see is someone who is fighting for their dreams to manifest fighting for their prophecy to be the best I see a big dreamer to be honest we have the clouds appearing showing that aspect there's some type of maze behind her she or he is understanding the value of discovering new paths new options new things in their life and this is what is making the person actually knowledgeable and mature this person knows how to conquer the world but at the moment this person might be facing some type of clutter barrier shadow or resistance and that is making the person a bit nervous i'm not gonna lie to you you can feel the same type of karma and same type of experience as well like some type of blockage or like why am i not manifesting my one person and maybe they're just facing so much that they are not available at the moment to be dating but i do believe for the majority they're stable enough to be starting a loving relationship they just have a lot of dreams and things to do that sometimes they need to actually free their schedule or try to do so to spend time with the people they like we have number seven as well which is a sign for luck abundance and spirituality so you are indeed attracting your other half which is spiritually connected to you i see someone who is a fighter like if they are um like if they love something love someone they will defend themselves like they will be so protective over it and so like determined to make people actually see they're they're wrong or they're not a good people because they love people who are just fair stable loving who have um, a very positive energy and they try to avoid the opposite they try to avoid people who are just gossiping always bitter always judging because they don't like that for them it is a lack of education and maturity so that's what i see they're just trying to make sure that the good the positive and the people are very good people to be successful so this one was calling me so i'll take it we have reflection so you can be indeed kind of like looking into a mirror when you meet this person and any type of reflections you are receiving in your reality rather it's about things about you that you actually admire and like or this can be any type of sign that is reflected in your reality repeatedly it can be, for example, numbers, maybe numbers can be 777, 111, 666, or number 6 a lot, or 16. And they can be significant as a code. So 7, like I said, luck, spirituality, and abundance. Number 1, leadership, new beginning. Number 6, that's the love is called in tarot. So this is announcing true love. And what you contemplate can actualize. So what you see around you, and same thing for the things you see for other people. So let's say, for example, um, you have a friend that is starting to date somebody and they're truly in love. This is the universe trying to tell you if this is possible for your friends, that's coming for you too. So you can see these manifestations around you, even strangers in the street, really picturing or showing you what love you want to be experiencing. For example, you see... Like I had this image <laughs> right away, that memory. When I was studying in Paris, um, I was just sitting there and, you know, just eating my sandwich. And I saw a very beautiful couple. So this was on a Valentine's Day. And like I saw the, the man coming from one side and the woman and the man had a huge bouquet of red roses. And I, I always have this picture of like, wow, this is perfection. Because if a man comes to me with a huge bouquet of roses, I would be so touched. And she was, like she was like living her best life. And this is a picture to me of true romance and such a thoughtful attention. So anything you picture really, and even with sacrifices, anything you picture really is what you will get. So anything um, that seems like a sacrifice for, sacrifice for some of your exes, for example, sometimes people will just put the effort. They'll put the work into it. They understand that relationships is about adapting to people. Not in a way that's controlling, but sometimes they have a past, they have wounds, and some things can trigger them without us realizing. So sacrifice, there are those worth making, and there are those that are going to destroy you. That's the message here. So 
understand when the two of you will sacrifice for good because they're worth making but sometimes it's too much so and possibly you have met these type of dynamics in relationships we all have let's be honest we all met people that felt okay i want to put the work into it even though sometimes it's not really what i pictured or not really what i wanted to do wanted to be wanted to say whatever that is but these sacrifices were worth making because you wanted that to work and this did not go against your values your um things that you actually like see as positive etc it's just an update that will allow yourself to grow too so that's a sacrifice that's bettering the connection the person maybe and yourself all these sacrifices are worth making but the rest no don't I, I heard don't go extra miles for some person that will not really deserve it because all they want might just be to manipulate you and control you. So know the difference, okay? I'm not saying the person that you're welcoming is going to be like that. I'm saying they may have this background and this is why they're they're battling to find somebody who is mature and stable and not going to manipulate them or ask them to actually make these sacrifices that are too much. So possibly talking about these things might be helping the two of you to feel safe in the connection. So let's see a couple of cards. Protector. We talked about this, so I'm going to put this one here. So you are indeed attracting someone who is very protective. And is it curable, doctor? So that is that part of seduction and flirty energy. So maybe that's about the work that you do or just playfulness, you know, intimately. But I see indeed somebody who is going to be very protective. They want you to feel safe. They want you to have the best time and the best connection with them. So of course, they don't want you to feel this way, you know. And so, yes, I see a lot of spicy time, playful time together with your intimacy. So let's see now more traits about your person. But so far we have protective, someone mature, grounded. They possibly have been in a lot of different, um, I kind of want to say toxic relationships, um, but possibly just people asking too much for them. And it's kind of like two universes that will never merge so when they try to adjust it just destroys their own their own universe and that doesn't work like you need somebody who is going to reflect a lot about you and this is what you're finding in your person so don't look for people who are very different from you because this will never work you know of course some people can complement each other but sometimes you understand and you know oh we are not <laughs> we're not from the same universe so here we have somebody artistic so someone possibly crafty creative and someone who is strong they can be very sporty as well because you can see the boxer here or we can we could see someone who is defending defending their goals their dreams so they have this strong mindset too but they might have a strong body too or, or strong looking appearance so artistic and strong let me now take the stack so we can see more places so any type of symbolic places places where you guys can be meeting each other so far i think of like business places workplaces um i see natural places too because we saw doctor could be could be another place sporty artisty for example you can go to one exposition a gallery exposition so art can be connecting this way or they can be someone who is an artist and they let's say they are a singer performer then you can be assisting to again sport event hmm, maybe that's a sign so yes art sport could also be related to any type of activities you do and connect it to these places where you can be meeting and the seaside the seaside and sport event i th i think i'm not certain because i don't follow rugby but i think the competition with rugby is still going on so i'm not sure if you plan to actually watch a match together if so maybe that's a sign here or they can actually be interested into looking at that competition so let's see messages anything they want to reveal to you what's their message any type of confession i'll pick it 
it's on the floor but let's see you don't have to keep it for yourself i'm here for you i'm telling you struggles sacrifices things that really triggers the two of you you will talk things out and you should that's the way to make the situation or the connection better and stronger the connection is going to be stronger because you can actually open yourself to your person you trust them and you understand they will take it as it is and not interpret it the wrong way so you don't have to keep it for yourself i'm here for you and we have sweet dreams my love for the other card so they want you to feel safe they want to you know to have a dream life with them too so of course before bed they want to sleep next to you hug you i see that can be their love language because you could see like i hug you i protect you i hug you when you feel sad or when i feel sad and when we when we fall asleep so i again see a converting converting i cannot speak <laughs> today uh converting company so sweet dreams, my love. Let's pick now the crate so we can see the zodiac sign of your person. But so far we add air energy and fire. And we talked about Capricorn and Aries. So let's see, Sagittarius, Aries and Cancer especially. But we can see more of them with letters and words. So these are especially going to show you perhaps a name, a place anything symbolic let's see what comes out i see la i see fall so maybe fall season feel happy through stuff help libra and aquarius and we have end here let's see if we can see anything else the only thing I think about is this FC Porto, which is actually a team, so good team. And we saw a lot of sports, strong person, so I'm not sure, but any type of sport can be something they will follow or will actually practice. So let me continue with the stickers. Let's get more information, more hints for you guys. Maybe moving in together, because I see um like with this one actually packing stuff so possibly living together quite quickly in the same place i see instagram so they can be following you on this platform listen to my heartbeat i do feel like this person is truly in love they can be a bit shy in the beginning because i can see that with this one super lovers really getting power couple vibes here I see that actually having a clean house or buying things for your house is something you guys will actually love to do or just possibly things that one of you is actually interested into. So keeping your space clean. I see somebody who is going to bring a lot of happiness to you and loving to go on a picnic with you, on a date with you. And again, this is screaming full season with this picnic and... Um, the apple on the floor which is apple season uh, and with the book i see somebody who can actually like to read a lot or maybe take notes maybe <laughs> and by the way make sure to check my notebooks as well linked down below so that's the rating for you guys i hope you liked it if you do give it a big thumbs up claim this beautiful energy down below in the comments subscribe if you're new if you want some personal guidance the tools the merch the cards even the notebooks like i said everything is linked down below as always make sure to check my other readings appearing on the screen take it care of you and i'll see you guys next time